Hey what's up everyone, I'm Niall and uh, this is my vlog. So for this vlog I really want to do something to do with music because I listen to music all the time. <laughs> There's nothing else I could really make a video about apart from something to do with music I guess or my interest for music. Um, so yeah just <laughs> and, and a lot of good albums have come out this year um, that I've listened to. Most of albums I've listened to are rap, so if you don't like rap, I do apologise. I thought I would take all the albums I've listened to this year and make a top five uh, of my top five favourite albums this year. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just talk through my favourite songs and stuff and uh, hopefully maybe take some songs from it, maybe listen to them. I will give some other suggestions in the comments of good albums and good songs this year. And yeah, pretty much that's it. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so starting off with number five, um, we're gonna go with Blueprint by D Block Europe. Uh, they're a UK rap duo. I think there's two. I've never really, I've only listened to them with, like a couple of times. Um, but yeah, they're. Like that, that album anyway uh, is really good. Like, pretty long album. Came out quite recently as well. But yeah, uh, really good album. Um, very lively, sort of. There's no deep meanings or themes, it's very simple, but it's also very sort of good, energetic, um, exciting. Um, and yeah, it's just good, it's kind of like party music, I guess. Um, but obviously, you can't really have parties right now. <laughs> if you're just alone, chilling in your room, and just want to vibe out, I guess. I don't know. Uh, listen to that album. There's some radio songs on it. Uh, Destiny, Bless Than Destin, I think is another one. It's called Bless Than Destin. Plain Jane is really good. UFO, Michelin Star, some really good songs on the album uh, that I do recommend you check out. Uh, they're really good. And number four is uh, Worst Generation by Che Lingo, um, another UK artist. He's really good. Um, this album, though, he, like his music in comparison to. D Block Europe to be sort of more serious, deeper where he came from, and sort of uh, the struggles in his life, and sort of all the bad stuff that's happened to him in his life, and how he sort of overcame that. It is really good, very uplifting, very sort of. I don't know, I, I think it'd be good to listen to maybe if you're in a car or something, or you, you know. Somewhere where you like listening and you're kind of like just sitting there thinking and focusing on the lyrics. It's more, it's very more lyric based than uh, Debug Here. So you won't really listen to what the lyrics you know are actually saying. Chilling goes you look deeper into it. And yeah, it's a really good album. Some of the best songs I'll fly, I say, are South, um, Dark Days, My Block. Uh, my blog though is, is a lot more kind of like upbeat, jumpy, uh, get you hyped a little bit. Um, and I think I think it's my block is on uh, FIFA and NBA 2K, so you might have heard that if you play other than two games. Um, and also Black Ones, that's really good song as well, that's also really shouty and sort of one more in your face songs, but it's really good. Um, and yeah, recommend you check out that album. Alright, so number three uh, is Fuck Love by uh, The Kid Leroy. I'd say some of the best songs on that are um, Need You The Most, Maybe, uh, Tell Me Why, that's a big one off of that album. Um, and yeah, um, same thing as well, it's really good. So yeah, that's number three, Fuck Love by uh, Kid Roy. I recommend you check that one out as well. 
moving on to number two, Detroit 2 by Big Sean. Yeah, this album is just so good. Kind of like a good mixture between some songs that are just good and you just listen and then some songs that you have to read more into and you're just like, you have to go, wait, wait a second. You have to give a few listens until it really sinks in and you really realize how good that song is. Like there's some ones that you just listen and enjoy, like Lithuania with Travis Scott. I mean, there's ones like maybe Full Circle or um, Lucky Me, um, Body Language, that's really good. Um, with, I think it's, um, I think Jenny Alley goes on it and um, Tyler all the time. That's really good. Yeah, so that's uh, number two, Detroit 2 by Big Sean. I recommend you check that out. And uh, moving on to number one. So, number one. Uh, my favourite album of 2020, I don't even, I'm not going to overthink it, I'm just going to say it because I don't know if it's my favourite album, but it's, it's not, it, I'm putting it in number one for this, out of five albums that I've talked about, it, I, it probably is because yesterday I, I went out before I did this, or like a few days ago, I looked at a few, I looked at the album, I was just like, I love every song here, <laughs> so yeah, definitely, um, so it's, the number one, so number one is Blame It On Baby by The Baby. The songs like Jump and It's Can't Stop. What's the other one? I'm sorry, I forget the name of the song, song. But yeah, Jump, uh, Find My Way, Champion, uh, and the deluxe album as well is really good. Songs like People, TLC, um, Blind. So yeah, that's, that's my number one. Uh, Blame It On Baby by The Baby and uh, that wraps up my top 5 albums of 2020. Still a bit unsure if that's but I'm just going to lock it in because uh, there's been some really good albums this year and so it was kind of hard for me to really narrow it down so that that's my top 5 locking it in. Um, do hope you enjoy it and maybe you'll listen to some of these albums or some of the songs I suggested off the albums and maybe you'll suggest some songs or albums in the comments from 2020 that um, you think I might enjoy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you guys soon.